Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, I will show you guys, how to interface ST7920, 128x64, graphical LCD, with STM32. I am using STM32 F103 controller, and I will explain you all the functions, using datasheet. So watch the entire video properly. Let's start by creating the project in CubeMX first. In this tutorial, I will use the serial connection for the ST7920. And for that, we have to select 4 pins as output from the controller. I will explain about these pins in a while. Next, we have to use some delays in microseconds. And so, I am going to select a timer, to create those delays. I have already made a video about this topic. You can watch on the top right corner of your device. Also, I will leave the link in the description. Now, complete the rest of the setup and open the project. Next, we need to copy the delay library, and the ST7920 library files, into the project. And after copying them, also include them in the project. Let's take a look at the delay library. As I am using, timer 1 for the delay, I am going to make some changes here, in the timer handler. That's it for the timer setup in the library. Let's build this, and check for the errors, if any. Everything looks good till now. Let's take a look at the ST7920 library file, and see how these functions work. So, about those 4 pins, we selected as output, in the CubeMX. They are connected as follows. A5 is connected to enable in the LCD. A6 is connected to RS pin of the LCD. A7 is connected to RW pin of the LCD. B0 is connected to reset pin of the LCD. This is the connection of the microcontroller to the LCD. This is a 5 pin. This is a 6 pin. This is a 7 pin. This is B0 pin. And this one here is PSB which should be grounded, to use the serial mode. If you are using any other pinout, you must define here, about the clock, CS, SID, and reset pins. So, first of all, this function replaces the SPI transfer. 
SPI doesn't always works for me, so I intend not to use it. Here also, we can transfer the data, same way, as the SPI does. And that is, first write the bit, either high, or low. And then toggle the clock. Next, sending command to the LCD. Now, if you take a look at the data sheet, it says that, when CS will be high, only then the clock will be accepted. So first, we will pull the CS pin, high. Next, before sending the actual command or data, we have to send a synchronizing byte. Which consist of, 0 cross F8, and then RW, RS, and 0. For sending the command, we have to make RS, 0. After sending the synchronizing byte, we have to send higher data byte, followed by, lower byte. And at last, pull the CS back to low, indicating end of transfer. Data is also sent in the same way. Except, this time, RS will be 1, in the synchronizing byte. Next. In order to initialize the LCD, we have to follow some pattern of commands. First of all, we have to toggle the reset, and wait for more than 40 milliseconds. Next, we have to send the function set command for the 8-bit mode, and wait for more than 100 microseconds. Again send the function set command, for the 8-bit mode, and wait for more than 37 microseconds. Next, send the display on, off, control command, and wait for more than 100 microseconds. I am keeping everything zero right now. We will turn it on, in the end. Next, send the display clear command, and wait for more than 10 milliseconds. And in the end, send the entry mode command, to increment cursor to the right, with no shift, and turn the display on. This ends the initialization of the LCD. To turn on the graphic display, again we have to follow some set of commands. First select the 8-bit mode, then turn on the extended instruction set, and at last the graphic mode. We have to write them separately, as mentioned in the data sheet. To draw any graphic to the display, we have to first set the vertical coordinates, and then the horizontal coordinates of the display. After that, write the upper byte, followed by the lower byte. And we do the same, for the bottom half of the screen also. Display clear command, can clear display in both, graphic mode, and text mode. Send string command, K 
can print the string on the specific row and column of the display. This only works in the text mode. Let's write the program, and display something now. First, we have to initialize the delay. And then initialize the LCD. Here I am writing few strings, to different rows, and columns of the display. Let's build it, and flash it to the microcontroller. Of course, there is our usual error about the resetting. Go to the configuration, debugger, generator script, and change it to software system reset. So, as you can see, it works pretty well. Let's try to display a bitmap on this display now. I have this image here, of the ST, and I will use GIMP, to convert it to the BMP format. Go to the image, mode, index, and change it to the one bit, black and white. Okay, things don't look good here. This is probably due to the saturation of colors. Let's fix it. Follow closely what I am doing. And now, if you change it, you will get the black and white image. Next, change the size, and export it to the BMP format. Next, I am using LCD Assistant for changing it to the hex format.
copy the code inside the program. I already have a bitmap.h file. And I am going to copy in this itself. Right now, I have two bitmaps, and I will display them both. We have to first turn on the graphic mode. I am going to display a bitmap, then wait for few seconds, then after clearing it, display the another bitmap. I forgot to include the header file in the project. Ok, let's build it, and display on the LCD. As you can see, this is the first bitmap, and this is the second one. I will reset the controller once more. Other than these, we can also draw different shapes. Such as, circles, triangles, rectangles, and so on. I have just put them at random places. Here you can see all of these functions together. Remember that, if you want to write the text again, you have to disable the graphic mode. This is it guys. Hope you understood everything, in the video. You can download the code from the link in the description. Leave comments, in case of any doubt.